Hello. I think I'm live. Just gonna wait a couple seconds here. I apologize for the delay. I was having some troubles hopping on to Facebook Live, but I think we're on now. Let me just wait a couple more seconds. All right, so I am Melissa Connell with the Carrie Ritchie team, and I'm doing a virtual live open house right now. As I walk around, feel free to make comments, ask questions, ask me to revisit an area, and I will happily do so. Um, last time I did this, I had a sound issue, so if I'm not coming through again properly, I apologize. I did take my phone to Apple. They said the issue was fixed, but we shall see. So hopefully you can still watch along. Um, so before I get started on this beautiful home, I need to talk to you specifically about the location of this home. For those of you who are familiar with Barkley, you've probably been to, heard of the Barkley Farmstead. Now, if you're not familiar with what the Barkley Farmstead is, I'm gonna give you a little history lesson. So there was a farmhouse built in 1816, and this was all farmland. Barkley Farm, the neighborhood, is named after this specific farmhouse. Well, that farmhouse still stands here today, and it's a museum. You can take tours through it. There's farm plots there. There's beautiful nature trails. There's a playground. Um, professional photographers love this location because of the photos they get there. I even took my wedding and engagement photos there because it's just so pretty. So anyways, the reason I'm mentioning this is because this home that I'm standing in is steps away from the Barkley Farmstead. Um, this neighborhood, one of the great features of it is this Barkley Farmstead. So being close by to it, it's just beautiful. So when I step outside, I will point that out more to you. Um, but let's get started. So where am I? So I am at 222 Dickens Court in Cherry Hill, again, the Barkley Farm neighborhood. I am coming to you from a three bedroom, two and a half bath home and I'm excited to show it to you. So hopefully I'm coming through live. Again, I apologize that I hopped on late. Some technical issues. So I'm gonna start inside first and then finish with outside because as I mentioned before, the location is just so important here. So we're in a Winmore model. One of the nice features about the Winmore model is this covered large porch that it has. And in this particular case, this porch faces the Barkley Farmstead entrance. So it's just a really pretty spot to have. So this is the main entrance here. As you walk into the Winmore model, You have a staircase to lead you up and a staircase to lead you down. Right in front of me at the front door, there is a coat closet. Decent size coat closet set back. All right, so as I turn to my right, we are entering into the dining living room space. So again, I'm in the Winmore model. One nice feature about this particular model are the ceilings. The ceiling height is definitely taller than a lot of the other Barclay homes. I'd say they're about 11 feet, 12 feet tall, 10 feet, that's just a guess. But if you walk in here, you can definitely feel just how open the space is. There were windows. That door that you see there that leads to a beautiful porch, I will eventually make it out to there. Not all Winmore models offer that room. Um, the cellar, that's one of her favorite things about the home is that porch. So before I got started, I asked the seller, what's one of her favorite things about this home and her answer was she likes how open it is but also not too open i 
It has a really nice flow to it. So you'll see the beautiful white cabinetry in the kitchen. The kitchen was updated about five-ish years ago. A really great feature about the Winmore model is the large picture window that overlooks that beautiful porch. And again, in this case, this just has a beautiful view of the neighborhood and the entrance to the Barkley Farmstead. So in the Winmore model, typically this is a wall right here. Uh, a lot of times people will knock that wall down and it really makes a big difference. Some bar stools there. Now, through this door is the two car garage. One of the nice features of this home is the side turn garage here. So large two car garage here. And there's a door to the side yard here as well. Plenty of storage. In addition to the two cars that could potentially fit in here, there's also storage up above as well. Heading back inside. Off to my left here is the powder room. This home has such nice little touches. I like what they did with the paint in here. The three different tones. All right, so there's the powder room. Now behind this door is some pantry storage. So heading back into the dining room space here, I wanna point out the original Barclay hardwood floors that are in beautiful condition. This home offers such pretty views, so I think it's important to show outside of the window what you're looking at. Beautiful. The seller takes pride in her yard and her gardens, and you'll see as we go through the home. So entering the great room, one of the features of the Winmore model as well is this giant brick wall that you have in the living room. So this seller has painted it white, and it looks beautiful, it really brightens up the room. You have that super extra long mantle there. There is a wood burning fireplace. The seller says she never used it because of allergies. So that fireplace is super clean and ready to use. And again, the ceiling height in here, it's really nice, really spacious. It makes it feel bigger when the ceiling is higher as well. Just a really cozy room. And the windows are extra large in here as well. Beautiful views. Now I'm gonna head out to the screened in porch area. Again, this model doesn't typically come with this, so this is an added bonus to this home. The seller says she spends most of her time out here and I definitely understand why. It's super peaceful. Oop, did I lose you? It's saying poor connection. Hopefully I'm not losing anyone. But just check out this landscaping. You are just surrounded by nature here. Such a peaceful vibe. It's beautiful. Again, when we go outside, we'll check it out. That way you're not looking at it through a screen. But there is a door off the screen porch that leads to the yard as well. The landscaping was done nicely so that it offers you plenty of um, privacy as well. All right, so heading back inside. Another shot of the beautiful hardwoods. Barkley Farm is definitely known for its hardwoods. 
All right. So I'm going to head upstairs first here. This home is 2,176 square feet. There are three bedrooms in this home. So when these sellers bought the home, it was four bedrooms. However, they chose to make two bedrooms into one large primary bedroom. Um, and this is what I'm walking into right now. Typically in this model, the primary bedroom is a little bit on the smaller side. So by opening this up, it really makes it a large primary bedroom. All, this, all the windows here, letting in all the sunlight, very cheerful. So off to this side of the room, this seller has been basically using it as an office space. Um, you know, you can make it into a sitting area. This would be a great nursery little area if you have a little baby. But this primary bedroom is a very large size compared to what the original model had. Also, it has a huge closet. So by doing what they did with the two bedrooms, they were able to make a really large closet in their primary bedroom. All right, another shot from this way. So this primary bedroom does have its own bathroom and I'm gonna head there next. There's currently carpeting in the room, but there are hardwood floors underneath if you choose to have hardwood. So this is the primary bedroom bath. You have a standing shower. In addition to the sink and the toilet. Now heading back this way. see the hallway has the hardwood floors there's a linen closet out here in the hallway and up above is the attic plenty of storage in the attic does have the pull down stairs which is nice but in addition to the two car garage you do have that full attic as well here's the second bedroom This bedroom does not have carpeting. The hardwood floors are exposed. One of the greatest features of this bedroom is the exposed brick over there. It just adds character. Nicely done. In addition to a closet. All right, and then down the hall, you do have a full bath as well. This one has the shower, the tub, a double sink, and toilet. Full bath right there. This double sink vanity is really pretty as well. Okay. Now I'm going to head down to the lower level. So as I mentioned, there's three bedrooms. Two of those bedrooms are up on the top level, which I'm on now. One of the bedrooms is on the lower level and I'm going to head there next. One more shot of the primary bedroom. And look ahead, straight ahead, there's some more of that exposed brick. Definitely one of the nice features of this home all the brick. Just a shot to see how high the ceilings are. There's your kitchen, front door, walking down. Now I'm heading down to the lower level. Look, more brick. 
All right, so here we are. This is your very large family room that the Winmore offers. It's a huge space. I love the giant window down here. It lets in a ton of sunlight. There's some great built-ins down here. The sellers recently put in these gorgeous floors. Really nicely done. So let's head this way. Back in here is your third bedroom. It's a very sunny room in here as well. There's a ton of windows in this home. So lots of sunlight always coming in. And it's a great feature because again, the location here is wonderful. So you wanna be able to look out your windows and see something pretty. And there's plenty of that here. It's a decent sized room. This is 17 by 11. And I love the ledge here. And I'll show you the closet in this room as well. Closet number one and closet number two. Off here is your laundry room. So your laundry room is set off back here, washer and dryer. The HVAC and hot water heater is here as well. And also this room does have a door which leads to the side yard and I will head outside next. All right, another shot of the family room here. And another closet for some more storage. So I mentioned earlier how before I started, I asked the seller what one of her favorite things about this home is and she said that she loves to entertain here and the open feel that this house offers so a lot of times people want the open open floor concept um but she said she loves that this home has that that it's open but it's also not too open so you have the dining room space here i'm standing in the great room and off there is the kitchen. Okay, so I think it's time to head outside. Walking out the front door onto the covered porch. Just give you a view. If you were to sit in this bench here. All right, so here we are. Looking out to the front yard of the home. Straight ahead, right there, is the entrance to the Barclay Farmstead. So you are literally just steps away from this farmstead. The seller is actually currently taking a walk over there, drinking her coffee. It's just so peaceful. This is not a cut through street by any means either. Look at the beautiful walkway. The front yard is really, really big too. So turning around and looking at the house, the roof is only three years old. And as you can see, the seller really takes pride in her gardens. And there's the garage, the side turn garage. So this house is actually located 
in between two courts. So you have Dickens Court over here and then off to my right, if you wrap around, there's a court back there as well, that's Southview. So it's just a really great location. You don't have anyone really driving by, definitely not a cut through. Um, in the summertime, the Barclay Farmstead offers the summer concert series, on the music under the stars. And it's just a lot of fun. So imagine being able to just walk out your front door, just walk on over to the Barclay Farmstead. It's just so peaceful. All right, so I'm gonna head over this way. A large corner lot. And there's the two car garage there. Okay, so walking around the side here, I'm just gonna take you for a look through the entire yard. It's just so, there's the door that leads from the garage. And again, I love how everything is landscaped. It just, um, oops, says my. <clears throat> There's the porch. Beautiful. I can't stress it enough. The location here is impeccable. Barkley is a huge neighborhood and there are just some locations that are highly desirable and this is most definitely one of them. There's that large window of the lower level family room. The home has been so well maintained. There is an open house here Sunday, one to three. Please feel free to stop by. Even if you're a neighbor, come on by. And if you'd love a private showing of the home, reach out to us if you're working with a realtor they can certainly take you on a private showing as well. It was just listed yesterday. And there you go. 222 Dickens Court, Cherry Hill, Barkley Farm. One of the greatest locations within the neighborhood. Super close to that, to the Barkley Farmstead as I've talked about so much throughout this entire thing. There you go. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys.